Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Blood, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series. And this time, we are wrapping up the uh, Commonwealth, and we are here at Hangman's Alley. This is, again, the final settlement before I move on to Far Harbor, and then Nuka World, my player home in that. So there's only one settlement in Nuka World. And here we go. So, spawn location number one is... I think it's roughly around the truck. Or it could be back here. One or the other. There's only two ways in and out of the hangman's alley. Um, okay, then we move... Let's move... Uh, so we got some bedding here because as we'll move on, there's not enough room in that other structure. So we got uh, four beds here. It's going to be a really quick and easy settlement to work because it's so small. And then uh, I got a scavenging station here. We got ourselves a carrot farm, as always. One water pump there. Fusion generator with a larger land water pump. Residential guard yard. Guard dog, the uh, boxer from the Creation Club. My uh, population settlement software. We got clothing and clinic here. This gentleman is having a little bit of an issue. Um, I think I wanted to put something in here. This uh, weapons workbench is already here, but I can do anything because it's such a small space. This campfire was originally here. We still get gunfire from over there. That's nothing to worry about. So, uh, scrapping station number two? Yeah. And then I... Oh. Did I put down more carrots? Put more water pumps. Oh. Then I had another small carrot farm here. Our journal store. Nope, there's another farm. It is right here. Because there's clearly not enough room in Hangman's Alley. Um, I mean, yeah, you could push out the border of Hangman's Alley to right here. But I just simply didn't want to. I just wanted to leave it the way it was. And plus, I didn't want to, like, rebuild all these walls. So, left it be. Um, this is spawn location number two. Has be either, I think it's actually, like, right here. Like, right here. It's a really weird spot for an uh, enemy spawn point, but I mean, it works. For them, sometimes. Not really. And finally, the piece of resistance. <laughs> the uh, elevator. I actually went to hit the wrong button, but I'm glad I didn't. So... You hear about that farm run by <sighs> I put a, um, I made like a little apartment building in here. Um, and again, just with, uh, the warehouse tile set. So we get some windows leading out here. It's 6.30, 7 in the morning probably by now. Uh, so we got the bedding here. We got the bar up here. And a barber. I wish, I wish, I wish that the elevator was actually practical for people other than the sole survivor because that's more or less the reason why I built this kind of apartment complex is because then the sellers would be able to travel up and down the elevator but they don't use it and you're gonna prove me right that you guys don't use it and it's a shame uh... yeah I really wish that this was practical I didn't realize it until afterward I'm like they don't actually use the elevator, and I wish they did, and I just got experience for something. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really wish they would use it. Uh, these pillars here weren't originally here. I built them, so then that way it just doesn't look like it's floating in space. Um, the floor here. And plus this also doubles as a nice bit of a cover area for the shops provide some cover from the elements but uh got some more experience from I don't know what um yeah I would have to say 
if you're gonna plan to have a big settlement, don't do it in Hangman's Alley. Or if you do, I don't know, play with mods or got some more experience. My provisioner must be attacking people. Um, either play with mods or build better than I, because I can't. Obviously, I'm not that great. I'm just a minimalist builder. Um, yeah, I, I guess I always sometimes have high hopes for building good settlements here in Hangman's Alley, but just the fact of the matter is that there's no space whatsoever to build in here. There just isn't any room. And I guess you guys got a bit of a... Uh, a night tour because it was still early in the morning now the sun's out um, I originally did intend this apartment complex to be three stories um, it was successful to the point where I couldn't put a roof on it and I'm like well that's unfortunate so I had to bump it back down to a two-story building. I wish it stayed as a third so I could put a roof on it, but there was no way I could. I guess there's a height restriction. So yeah, that's my hangman's alley. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And he's just kind of creeping around me. I know I'm the sole survivor, buddy, but you gotta make friends elsewhere. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. And to stay in tune with the rest of this series, which would just cover Far Harbor and Nuka World, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. And also to uh, watch the full playlist of any of the other settlements you may have missed. Again, oh, I meant to cover this. Um, I might have in the beginning, but I don't remember. I do not have Warwick Homestead as a settlement. Reason is, is because I discovered it. Uh, I discovered it in my gameplay just naturally. I didn't get a request or a quest from the Minuteman to go clear it out or help them or whatever. I just did it, and I assumed that there would be a way to align myself to the settlement without the Minutemen. Um, that's a no. Uh, the only way you can align yourself is with, I think, a Raider Problem quest or Super Mutants. And yeah, so I don't, I'm not aligned to Warwick Homestead. Otherwise, that'd be the one I'm missing. Other than the uh, smaller farms that I did not cover because they just have two... There's only like a few people living there and I um, can't... Well, I didn't do a whole much to them besides add defense like Abernathy Farm, uh, Finch Farm, which is here. Um, I didn't do anything to Mechanus Slayer besides just build a robot workstation because that's where I build all my robots um, I didn't cover green top nursery nor covenant because covenant there's a bug where everything is still set to own even though everybody is dead and uh, I didn't cover great garden or overland station because again they're just really small settlements oh and uh, Somerville place they're just really small settlements uh, with very sm few amount of people so I didn't think that they were important to cover so I didn't cover them in uh, this series. But yeah, that's going to wrap up the Commonwealth in this uh, in this in this part of the series. So next time I will see you guys in Fall Harbor.